Hi folks, today I want to talk about a new feature we're going to be rolling out as part of the next Microsoft 365 VSC release. These are the rule evaluations component. They work just like any other DSC resource uh, that we have out there with the one difference that they're really meant for monitoring scenarios. They don't actually map to an actual Microsoft 365 configuration instance anywhere. Those rules are there to let you evaluate items that are outside the scope of your config. What I mean by this is, let's take the example where today you have two Azure AD conditional access policies created in your environment. Both of them are defined inside of your declarative DSC config, right? So you have Azure AD conditional access policy one with all the properties, same thing for the second one. Now, somebody goes in through the admin portal and creates a third conditional access policy. Because it's not captured as part of your DSC config, the monitoring knows nothing about that instance, and it can't actually go and monitor it for configuration drifts. So what we let you do now is define dynamic scopes, or being able to evaluate items that are not um, implicitly defined. So in this case here, I'm declaring a new M365 DSC rule evaluation. And what I want to do is I want to evaluate and make sure that I don't have any instances of a conditional access policy in my environment that has its state set to enable for reporting, right? I want to make sure they're either disabled or enabled. Don't ask me why, but that's the scenario here. So in my case, what I'm doing is I'm defining the key property resource name, which is Azure AD conditional access policy, which tells the rule evaluation component, I want to go and check every single Azure AD conditional access policy in the tenant, whether or not they're defined as part of my config. And here is the rule that represents valid components, right? So basically, I'm saying that for something to be valid, their state needs to be different, so not equal to enable for reporting. So by doing this, when I run the config, so if I go in and I compile it, I'm going to go and start the config on this. And this will go and evaluate that the rule is compliant, that I don't have any Azure AD conditional access policies that are set to enable for reporting only. And once this is done, it will detect in my environment here, I have five Azure AD conditional access policies created. Two of them are in that state. So we'll actually consider those to be drifts. Now, what's really important is that as part of your config, there's nothing preventing you from actually having declarative components as well, right? because this is just a resource. So you can go in and add those manually inside of your resource as you see fit. Okay? Very important. The other thing as well that we let you do um, as part of the rule evaluation, if I can just find my config back, is um, we do have another property, which is, um, let me just get the actual name correctly. Uh, so it is the after rule count query. And what this lets you do is define things like you should only have one policy in your environment that matches a certain set, right? So let's say we were fine, so we don't want to block every conditional access policy from being enabled for reporting but not enforced, right? To be in that state. But I want to make sure we don't end up having more than two. Okay, so what this will do is it will go in and will first off check for invalid instances based on this. Let's say it finds in my environment, it's going to find two. Okay? And this, it will evaluate, make sure that there's less than two, essentially, or less than equal, let's say. Let's do this. And it won't actually treat this as a drift because I have two that are in that state, and that is fine based on this definition. If I was to go in and say, I, I want to make sure I only have um, one, then this would consider it as a drift. It would come back and it would say, you actually have two that are not matching that rule. Um, so the evaluation of my thing is done, and this is how we would actually go and print it out, right? So we say, all right, the following resources have failed the rule validation. So I do have two Azure AD conditional access policy instances, block 0365 and geek ready cap that have their status set to enable for reporting. And this is the rule that they don't match. So we think that this is extremely powerful as far as monitoring. Um, what this also opens the door for is more powerful blueprints, right? Remember that blueprints are configuration that has been vetted by an organization that you can use to assess your tenant. Now what you can do is you can have blueprints that are purely um, containing rule evaluations. 
right? You could go in and you could say, all right, I want to make sure that you have at least one um, Teams meeting policy in your environment that prevents uh, this group from having private chats with this other group. You can go in and you can make sure that MFA is enabled for all admins in your environment, right? So sky is the limit as far as defining what you want to monitor now. Um, Again, we hope you're going to enjoy this new feature. It's not something you need to use. It's not something that will be generated dynamically either when you do an export. It's something that you have to manually add, but it just opens the door to uh, have even more proactive monitoring of your environment. On that note, I wish you all a good day and uh, please provide the feedback on the tool uh, and the GitHub repo. Thank you.